What's up, Petty? How are you? What's up, Eugene? How are you? Oops. <laughs> What's up, Grumpy? Uh, old man Joe, how you doing, buddy? What's up, player? How you doing, man? Yeah, just chilling about the stream, man. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's load this up. I have buffs going, but I want to finish the dailies. I completely forgot about them yesterday. So we're going to get those done first, and then I'm going to head to West Tech, smash out some more levels, finish our buffs, and then there should be more dailies. And then at that point, I bet you we're pretty close to finishing this. Okay, oop. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's going to be a good stream. It usually is. Beeb. Okay, so without even thinking, let's just join a team. Perfect. Oh, of course. Uh, well, hopefully some people join here. Okay. And I can't move. Why can't I move? Seriously? Oh, can I be quick? Can I be quick? Let's go. I honestly hope they don't add crossplay if I'm being honest. I saw it on Call of Duty Cold War and it wasn't very good if I'm being honest. Just my opinion. Okay, I gotta join a party here. Well, that would be one of the reasons, too. PC has obviously got some modders or hackers that get in there, you know, with some stuff that they shouldn't. So you don't see that on console as much. So, yeah, that's part of my reasoning not wanting to. Oh, I'm done all the dailies. When did that happen, brah? When did that happen? Beautiful. Well, since I don't have any more weeklies... Yeah, I'm not going to get any more. Look at all the epics I got. All but one. Two. All but two I ended up getting epic. I killed that. So yeah, I might as well re-roll this daily. Crafter scrap melee weapons. Okay, I'll just smash that out right now. Let's go. And then we'll probably head into West Tech and wait for new dailies to pop up. How much longer do I have of these buffs? Oh, 40 minutes. We're laughing. What's up, Stabby? How are you? Let's make sure we get this again. Um, Kindred Spirit, beautiful. That did not lower my weight at all. Okay, I don't know what's shooting my house, but you can stop. Okay, with that said, uh, -uh. I need someone to join my team. Oh, great. There's another reason I'm so heavy. 
Okay, yeah, let's go see what our situation is if I got all the script for the day as well. <clears throat> Easily finishing the scoreboard right here. <clears throat> Cheers to everyone drinking coffee. No worries, Petty. Thanks for coming out, dude. Yeah, we still needed a couple more. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna hop lobbies. Thanks, Petty. Take care, buddy. What's up, Fallout Boy? How you doing, man? Greetings, Strix. How you doing, buddy? Uh, good morning, Dad. How you doing? Dad and Dino... Dad and Oasaur? <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Okay, hopefully there's some teams in here. Here we go. Beautiful. Eviction notice could definitely be annoying. I have to agree with that. Dino, okay. What is the best to get legendary modules? Um, just making sure you get your daily 500 script, really. Oh, right on, Strix. Well, you found one, man. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Pardon my nose, typical allergy crap. <clears throat> sure. Good to go, awesome, Strix. Appreciate it, buddy. Okay, I think I have everything good to go. Kindred spirit's still good. Okay. Hello, Optimus. How are you doing, buddy? What's up, PMC? How are you? A hard time getting plastic. I think you could just get that from energy weapons, if I'm not mistaken. So just maybe run West Tech and scrap uh, the weapons. I think it gives you plastic. I could be wrong. <clears throat> we'll find out. Let's take this energy weapon with us. Oh, player, man. Thank you. <clears throat> really apologize for the allergies this morning, everyone. Hashtag for player, bro. Thank you so much for becoming a member, man. Welcome to the Nukeaholics. The best way to level through the... Okay, Spenny, literally just watch what I'm about to do and this is the best way. Running West Tech, my friend. Okay, how much am I getting? 2161, not bad. I feel like that's good enough. It's all about that repeatable. <clears throat> I 
I've been playing Fallout for a while. Probably close to 10,000 hours with Fallout 4 and 76 combined. And I thought I was going to be like 5,200 when I was done this. I do have XP buffs, my intelligence very high, unyielding armor, all that good stuff. <clears throat> With a photo mode glitch? Yes, I do, player. Honestly, I think the best way to get plastic is just scrapping the energy weapons running through West Tech. You know, you rank up on the scoreboard, you can collect a lot of steel as well. <clears throat> Whoa. I think it's plastic. I just have to confirm. Thank you, Stabby. <laughs> A, B, C, D. Thanks, John. Good playing golf with you yesterday, too, buddy. I'll be playing today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play two 18 holes, though, man. Oh, that was getting horrible after the ninth on the second. If you had all the buffs, you should be able to get one level a lot faster than 10 to 12 minutes. It's not that bad. Yeah, I have all all XP buffs going. Yeah, hashtag for John if we can, everybody. That'd be cool. Or hashtag ABCD. He'll appreciate it. Like, even up in the late 80s here for me, like, it's not 12 minutes to rank up once. Thank you, Grumpy. Thank you, Stabby. Thank you, Girly Gamer. Thank you, Stealth. Thank you, buddy. I'm going to have to give it a push to 5,500, so in case the next double XP. I think it's at the end of November, if I'm not mistaken. But we could get one before that. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks, Grumpy. You can't get the cooler. What should you do? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I think the only way to get it is uh, Fallout first, unfortunately. Wasn't there a legendary here? Yeah. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, Stealth. I was 77 at one point. I don't know if at the factory is the best place to farm Quantum, but I don't know. Girly Gamer probably knows a lot about that. The flamer is basically considered, I don't know, it depends who you are, but I do consider it a bit of a stealth weapon, yeah. Firing it doesn't seem to uh, um, attract the attention of enemies. What's up, Ron? How you doing, buddy? Or Ran? Sorry if I said that wrong. I'm probably using a bit of a newer one. I should do a video on this build. We might just do that, just to help you guys get through the scoreboard. Uh, 
Uh, Zendai. Hopefully I said that right. Yes, that's probably a good way as well. Rank on the scoreboard? I think we're like 80-something. Yeah, 87. And uh, I'm getting closer to 5,200. Awesome, Lafollette. I'll see if I see what I can do. Maybe I'll just I'll I'll get that video because that that's a pretty easy video for me to explain. It's more or less going to be a lot of links to other videos as well for the buffs and whatnot. But uh, just to show you the perks that I'm using and how to do it, definitely an easy video to make. So that'd be good to make today. I'm using Nuka grenades. Because I think my last video I did about getting through the scoreboard, um, I'm using the auto axe, if I'm not mistaken. What's up, Addiction? How are you, man? Oh, there's so many nice people on this game. It's crazy. Blart. What doesn't work? Yes, I am good EFX. Yes, I am. I am pretty good addiction. Not bad. Thanks for asking. The blart thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, if you got kicked from chat for five minutes, there's probably a good reason. We don't just time people out for no reason. Um, I'm like 87, I think. We will be done the scoreboard by the end of this. Easily. That's kind of slacking on the scoreboard a little bit. I could have finished this almost in a day. Like, I was 63 within 12 hours of the scoreboard being out. And then I just, yeah, I kind of let it go. I didn't really worry about it. I, I focused on a video and some streams and whatnot. Played some other games, took a bit of a break. Could have had this done in less than two days. 27 isn't bad, Brandon, if you're not trying to smash it. And if you say so, Fallout Boy, I'm not going to worry about it, bud. That's the past, you know. I'm going to focus on the present and the future right now. The problem with the Nuka grenades is, is they're not really hard to craft, but it's hard to find the plan if you don't have it. You kind of got to luck out. I would go fight Scorch Beast. Maybe, you know, start an account on Reddit would be a good way to find a Nuka Grenade. Or even find someone to maybe make you some. But you just need a Nuka Cola, a Frag Grenade, and Aluminum. And boom, you have a Nuka Grenade. I have a video on it if you want to check it out. But unfortunately, finding the plan can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Because it is kind of random. It's not exactly that easy to find. Like... Um, like, you'll find it. If you play the game enough and just, you know, unlock stuff, you'll probably find it fairly quick within 100 levels. But, you know, who wants to, you know, do that process when you when you want it right now? <laughs> oh, we don't need an alternative way, Durba. The, the scoreboard is just so easy to smash through now. Even, especially with the score boosters and everything else now, like, it's just, it's so easy. Any casual player can easily get the score done in a month. Ooh, 
Ooh, did I do that one daily? What's that? I didn't. I need to scrap a melee weapon. I want those points. We're going to head outside after this one. Can't believe I forgot that. Oh, yeah, and I want to scrap that rifle as well to see if we're getting plastic, which I think we are. It's probably the best way to get plastic is just run West Tech. Pick up all the laser rifles and whatever, and you're good to go. Yeah, use the scrapper perk too, of course. Good point, Dub. Good point, buddy. It's just, see, I always forget to mention that perk card because it's just like a must for me. If you're casually playing, you should pretty much just have Scrapper on. If you're going for an end-all, end-game build and you're just smashing bosses, then yeah, I wouldn't worry about the Scrapper perk too much. But you're still going to miss out on a lot of good junk. Finding Nuka grenades? I mean, you can buy some at Nuka World, but it's you can't really buy a lot. You're better off finding the plan and crafting them, 100%. Okay, scrap or craft a melee. And we will scrap the uh, laser rifle as well, just to show that we get plastic. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. There you go. Brandon said he could help you if you're on Xbox. Yeah, as long as you give him the materials. I agree with that. Because aluminum isn't exactly easy to find sometimes. Um, okay, craft or scrap a melee weapon. So we'll just craft one and scrap them. We should be good. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Now, if I go back, combat knife, scrap. That should be pretty much it for the challenge, I think. I thought. Craft or scrap a melee weapon. Oh, okay, I need one more. Okay. Um, let's just track it because it bugs me. And let's do this. Combat knife. That should pretty much be the challenge done, obviously. Let's go to this. Okay, now a laser rifle. Let's scrap it. Yes, mold it plastic 11. And I don't even think I have scrapper on. So you can get tons of plastic from running West Tech. Oh, I do. Someone's sharing scrapper. Okay, that makes sense. All right, back to it. Another good tip I can tell you guys too, honestly, just try to pick up everything. Like if you have Fallout first, you should pretty much just be picking up everything and sorting through it. Because if you don't, you're missing out on a lot of junk, especially if you're not just picking up random weapons. Random weapons is like the best way to get steel, plastic, and you know, stuff like that. That's weird, John. Yeah, you never know in this game, Texan. You never know, buddy. Um, well, I've been playing the game still less than 5,000 hours. So less than 5,000 hours it's taken me. Okay, let's get rid of some of these rads. Good little trick if you're running West Tech 2 right there.
I have videos on all of that, Durba. XP playlist. 120 fusion cores. Maybe sell some. Give some away. Go drop some in front of 76. You don't need that many. Even if you're, like, in power armor, like, 99.9% .9 of the time, um, you know, like, 50 on you will last you long. Thank you, Girly Gamer and Stabby. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Crumpets, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Should talk to your mom about Amazon. You need a new controller. Girly Gamer says hi, Wolf. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see how many more, how much we got left in the box if I can remember. Texan says hello, Wolf. He's a good friend of mine, Texan. We've been playing games for years. I'm stuck with them now. Howdy! I think we get that cryo freezer or whatever at 90, so that's going to be quite nice. Nice, that was a good grenade. Down we go. Oh my god. He's the worst for that. What's up, Frexy, and how you doing, buddy? And I uh, just want to say, too, once we're done the scoreboard here, everybody, we'll go launch some nukes. We'll have some fun, you know. We're not going to be running West Tech the whole stream. It, it, we honestly shouldn't be running it longer than an hour or so. And we should be done. It is stealth, correct? You can tell by the skin, eh? Because you can't change it on the Holy Fire. I should have my Nightbot commands up so I can know what I'm doing. What's up, Con? How you doing, buddy? There we go. Okay. And the blue flames, of course. Merge. Running West Tech with an auto axe is actually a great idea because all you have to do is worry about it breaking. You don't even have to worry about ammo. And if you run West Tech even half as much as I do, it destroys your ammo. It will stop all spoilage, apparently. Yep, we're going to test it today. I can't wait for it. I'm going to make so much brain bombs and cranberry relish. It's going to be amazing. We're definitely going to go do that. I'm going to make as much of it as I can and we're going to put it in there. And hope it doesn't spoil at all. If it spoils like a little bit over a day, that's still going to suck. I hope it's like not at all. What is my opinion on the new SB? I'm not sure what that means. New scoreboard? I think it's very low effort with lots of filler. Nah. 
I would have to disagree. I think there's a lot of cool stuff on the scoreboard. I don't think it's the worst one. I wouldn't say that. I'm I'm happy with it. I like all the free stuff that we get on there. Um, just the ability to grind it is nice. I feel like some people, you know, maybe yourself included, you know, you're just expecting a little bit too much. Like, it's pretty much free for the most part. It could be worse, you know, Call of Duty's out here charging you $20 for a skin on your gun and for your character to be like, hi! <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. At least it's free. But, you know, this is just my opinion. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I was, like, big into zombies. And as a zombie player, we carried Cold War, all right? We carried that game. If it wasn't for us zombie players, Cold War would have flopped as bad as Vanguard. And then Vanguard came out, and it just, you know, zombies, it had potential, I think. And then they just showed that they didn't care. Like, their third map that they came out is literally the second one with a filter. Like, that is lazy. Oh my god, I haven't played Zombies since. Not any of the newer ones. I haven't played Vanguard since that either. It's horrible. And now there's going to be Zombies in Modern Warfare 3, I just don't know. Definitely won't be pre-ordering that, that's for sure. Yeah, Brandon, there you go. Yeah, hard pass. If Zombies looks amazing or something, then maybe I'll get it. But, like, as zombie players, we deserve a standalone zombie game. They're basically milking the fact that zombie players will buy COD games just for zombies. And it's horrible. Not anymore. We deserve a, a COD zombie game, man. And I'm in no hurry to go play that anyway. I'm loving Fallout. I feel like it's a much better game at this point. Multiplayer, Battle Royale, Zombies, none of it comes close to this game. Yes, I'm going to be playing Starfield, and we're going to try to stream it, and we are going to make videos on it as well. The only problem is, is we might have to stream it on Twitch when we first start, but I plan to get it streaming on YouTube as well. It just might not be as high quality as my streams from the PlayStation 5, because I will have to use an Elgato on my computer, which can't stream, you know, um, 1080, 60 frames. I think I can maybe do like 720 to 1080, 40 frames or something, or 30, I forget. I'm not too uh, tech savvy. So we'll get around to that. Yeah, I thought Cold War Zombies was absolutely great. Loved it. Absolutely great. The worst part about Cold War Zombies was that it was maybe a little bit too easy. Other than that, man, I can hop on there and play those maps any day. I really can. See, Spenny, I don't even know what you're talking about, bud. <laughs> And I don't have, like, a heavy-duty gaming PC. Like, I, I couldn't play PlayStation 4 games on my, on my PC. So keep that in mind as well. I'm pretty sure my computer is pretty much the bare minimum requirements for streaming. I, but I think that's 
while playing on it too. I don't know. I got a good PC. We'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll get it going. What's up, Yeetus? How you doing, buddy? We gotta check how much longer for the buffs. I couldn't tell you, Spenny. If you can tell me how to check, I'll go do that right now for you. I appreciate the help. Well, Call of Duty is just so toxic. I think Fallout First is totally worth it as long as you play the game a lot. Like, it's not even $20 a month, you know? That's not a big deal, you know? You get a lot of good stuff with that. And if you're playing a lot, then I, I totally think it's worth it. You know, it's no different than buying, you know, a skin for Call of Duty uh, once a month or, you know, buying some in-game you know, currency on Minecraft or whatever. It's all the same thing. All video games have that nowadays. The thing is, is more the more you play, the harder it is to let go of the junk. This game is is more than easy to play without Fallout first. Anyone that says it isn't, I am telling you right now, I totally disagree with you. You just have to let go of some of your junk. It's as simple as that. You're just not going to be able to collect as much stuff. Okay, if you open the task manager, okay, let me keep this where it is, and I will do this as soon as I go downstairs, Spenny. Do I think the stuff in the Atomic Shop is overpriced? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. Yeah, exactly, Nathan. I couldn't have put it better. I couldn't have put it better, buddy. I totally agree. Yeah, there should be a lot of improvements coming to the Discord very soon. Um, I need to get a hold of Astro as well. Okay, so if you open up your task manager by pressing Control Shift Escape, then go to Performance tab where it shows the graphs. Oh God, this seems intense. Okay, Control. Shift, escape, control, shift, escape, and then go to the performance tab. Uh, that just brings up my task manager. It just says more details. Performance tab, gotcha. Ah, okay. Top right corner should show you what your GPU and CPU are. Okay, so my CPU is saying... I don't know where it would be total. It's fluctuating right now. Base speed, it says 3.19 gigahertz, I think it is. Intel R Core TM i5 6500 CPU at 3.20 GHz, if that makes any sense. Because it doesn't to me. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, it's not the worst and it's not the best. You know what I mean? Like, I got this computer 
for about $700 two years ago. And it was refurbished, so, you know, it, it's not bad. And it had a lot of good stuff added to it as well, too, because the guys I got it off of are, like, super-duper computer guys. But, yeah, could probably use a new one for stuff like that. Yeah, you need a good computer. Okay. So, Spenny, let me know what your thoughts are on that. It's just not going to be great quality when I stream, you know. But I don't think it should be too bad because I'm not using the computer to stream. It will be an Elgato. So it should take away. Next question, would you be do the same for your GPU and let me know what that says? Okay, is it under the same tab or what, Spenny? I like this. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Like like I said, it's not going to be like 4K, you know, 60 frames per second, but it'll be close. Okay, let me check these things again. GPU. Um, okay, so we're going down to GPU. It says HD, or sorry, Intel RHD Graphics 530, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the bare minimum for a graphics card. But I think I can spend $100 and get a better one. So I might just do that. We'll see. Yes, it is, Nick. Yep. Okay, how much is left on the buffs? Okay, we got like five minutes. And then we'll go do the dailies just to get a bit of a break from this. And then we're back at West Tech until we finish. Which, what are we? Ah, we're 91. So we got nine levels to go. It's not a big deal. Ah, we are on to coffee number two. Let's go. Um, that depends if you're using a Gauss weapon and or an explosive weapon. I guess not, Spenny. I don't know. It all depends if a graphics card will fit in there, too, right? Which I remember because I asked the guy, too, if I could upgrade the graphics card. And he checked it, and he said, yeah, it should be enough room in there to throw it in. So maybe we'll go do that. Um, I have almost 5,000 hours and 76. You mean the will, Julian? I wouldn't call it brain power. It's the will, really. Yes, I think it is an integrated, yes, graphics card. Yeah, it's not one that, you know, would have been bought separately and put in. It's included with it. But the guy at the, at the, the computer store said that I can still put another graphics card in. So maybe that'll be the way to go. When does the scoreboard end? Uh, less than a couple of months. I would say you have well over a month. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get a stream up and going. Don't worry about that. We'll get a stream going. We'll see where we are. We'll, you know, we'll literally just test it right away when I start streaming, you know, Starfield. And we'll go through it together. You know, that would be awesome. If not, we'll just stream it where I got it. Mm. 
We shall figure it out. Either way, we're going to be streaming Starfield. And then maybe we can do some mod videos for Fallout 4 as well. Okay, I'm guessing we can get two more runs. We're going to push two more runs here. And then we'll see what the dailies are. Uh, make sure you're doing events, Julian. Doing events, and don't forget to buy that bullion. What's up, T-Nabber? How you doing, buddy? A Deathclaw egg? Um, you can go to Deathclaw Island, and there's a chance that one could be there. If not, the abandoned waste dump to the right of the map, I think it's called. If you go inside there, there's two Deathclaw nests in there, but easier said than done finding a deathclaw egg there but you should oh joe thank you so much for that super chat brother if we could get a hashtag for joe i would appreciate it thank you stabby thank you joe i'll show you where it is on the map really quickly um deathclaw island's the top left of the map it's an island it's called deathclaw island i'm sure you can find that Okay, thank you, Julian. Thanks again, Joe. Okay, so I'm talking about right here. Is it called Abandoned Waste Dump? Yes, it is. So this is where you want to go. You want to go inside, and yeah, hopefully there's a Deathclaw egg. There is two nests in there for you to check. Since we're down here, let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, funny, Deathclaw egg. <laughs> I still have a reroll, though. Daily op. I think I'm just going to re-roll that because I don't like it. Mod a weapon. Wow, so easy. Ah, get out! Get out! Get out. Oh my god. Whew. I'm not sure about Hopewell Cave myself, but if you say so, Stabby, I'll definitely take your word for it. No problem, Bob. Oh. Howdy there, hackers. How you doing, man? Okay, it's still getting twenty one forty one. Social, what's up, buddy? Ah, uh, you're watching. This is how I level up the scoreboard so fast. Running West Tech with grenades. Basically, the repeatable. Oh, sorry. Something in my eye there. <laughs> what's my intelligence? I'm not even sure. Close to 70. 74. Yeah, it's running the graphics off the processor. You should grab yourself a used GPU. Maybe... Yeah, we'll see. I think I would just upgrade the PC at that point, Spenny. You know, spend like, you know, 1100 bucks to 1500 and get a decent gaming PC. Or just, you know, set up a PC for good streaming, I think would be the way to go. I don't mind spending the money into that because, you know, obviously we'll be streaming a lot on this channel. So it's totally worth it. It's a good investment. Ugh. <clears throat> Spenny, yes, definitely big brain. Good 
job, Joe. Good job, buddy. Okay, I'm guessing the buffs have run out. Yeah, they're pretty much out. Okay, so we're going to go do these dailies. Deathclaw egg. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Someone's already over there. I knew it. Ah, okay, let's go to Deathclaw Island. Are you kidding me? The game's going to freeze on us already? Oh, I've been going for 44 minutes, man. <sighs> this is another reason why I think it would be a smart idea to get a good recording device. Because then I don't have to end the stream. And on Xbox, I found as well, if you are streaming and the application errors, like what just happened here, the stream doesn't end. I wish PlayStation would get on that. Come on, PlayStation. Okay, so I'm going to have to start the stream back up, everybody, unfortunately. Um, extremely annoying for only 44 minutes in. Um, hopefully we don't have an app error next. Between freezing and app errors, this extremely frustrates me, sorry to say. Um, yeah. I'll be right back, everybody. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to the channel and refresh it. This page, this will not work. This, this will be basically classed as a separate video now, unfortunately. So you'll have to basically click on a new stream. Um, I'll be right back. I apologize for this. Extremely frustrating. PlayStation, you need to get on this. Make your streaming better. <laughs> 